What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the Ranked Double Ladder with this Life Orb Rillaboom team. And I never really used Rillaboom. I don't think I made a video with Rillaboom, so this is going to be awesome. It's going to be pretty dope. So if you guys are hyped for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, thank you guys for all the support. We're pushing in on 3,000 subscribers. Like, are you guys kidding me? Let's get it, yo. Seriously, thank you guys for all the support. Rocking out on this team in the front spot, we got our boy, our boy in cinema right here with Intimidate as his ability. Normal moveset for him has Fake Out and that pivot move with two stab moves with Darkest Larry and Lair Blitz. Then we got Competitive Milotic, so no Intimidate Pokemon gonna roll on our field. If so, we're gonna play Milotic, get the competitive nature, and just run the match from there. It has Muddy Water, Ice Beam, cool to boost his stats, and recover for HP. Then we got Super Luck Togekiss with that awesome moveset that I always love. It's got Heat Wave, Air Slash to boost speed if Dynamax, Dash, and Gleam for double hits, and Follow Me. I just love this moveset on Togekiss. It covers so much, and then you can Dynamax with that Super Luck and, super luck and Scope Lens, and just absolutely get some monster damage. Then we got Mold Breaker X Drill, always a great back end Pokemon for any team. It just works so well with EQ, Rock Slide, Iron Head, and Protect. Then our main boy on the team, main dog right here, we got Rillaboom with Overgrow and that Life Orb with Drum Beating for big stab damage, high horsepower and Drain Punch for stab. And we have Knock Off. Knock Off can actually work very, very well. We can use it before we Dynamax and take off items such as Evo Lights on Dusk Ops. So won't be as bulky. So we can take that off and then just rip out on other Pokemon. Then in the final spot, we got our Tailwind Pokemon who can also hit very, very hard and is defiant with this ability. We got this Braviary with Tailwind, Close Combat, Brave Bird, and Protect. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom screen. If you do use it, let me know in the comment section down below. How you guys do with this team? If you win some, if you lose some, just let me know. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback. But without further ado, let's hop onto that rank ladder and try to get some wins with this Life Orb Rillaboom team. Match number one coming at you guys. We're going up against a Charizard team right here. And ooh, you guys know they're always tough. They are always tough. I think he's either leading the Toga tomorrow with the Wimscott or the Wimscott and the Charizard. So should I lead Rillaboom? Should I lead the Rillaboom? I don't think I should. I don't think I should. I maybe should bring him as a back end mon, but I think a nice play is gonna be uh probably go with our tailwind setter and maybe Incineroar. Oh, I could go Incineroar. Yeah, let's go Incineroar. And then I'm gonna bring Togekiss and Rillaboom. Togekiss Rillaboom or X should drill. Mm. E, ah, I think Tokus and Rillaboom. I think Tokus and Rillaboom. Because, um, actually, was really not doing too, too much here. I mean, obviously, as an Iron Head, but, like, uh, we're, we're totally fine. We're, we're totally fine. We're totally fine. We got that some Gleam to handle that, uh, that Grimmy Poo. We got this. We got this. All right. So, we got the Incineroar and Bravery already lead. If he does lead Wimscott, I could go into a Fake Out, into a Brave Bird, and just dump on that thing right then and there. Um, but if he goes into Charizard with it, that's, that's a little scary. And that's a little scary. Let's see what he does. Like, Cause you guys already know Charizard is definitely scary. If I can pop out, get a Tailwind before he gets his, or or if I can cancel out his Tailwind. Oh, he doesn't even go for Wimscott. guy. Never mind. Never mind. Plan canceled. Plan is canceled. He's probably gonna pick me out. But he has a uh, Zing Zap and all that stuff, so that's a little scary. It's a little scary. But guys, if you want to catch more content from your boy Jeans right here, and that link in the description below, Jeans75 on Twitch. Turn on those notifications and hit that follow button. But let's get it. So we get that Intimidate pop. Doesn't really do too too much. Uh, Brave Bird definitely. Oh no, it's not very effective. Uh, I'm thinking this thing's Sash, so I'm just going to go for a fake out on my own. I'm going to go fake out into that. Unless it said it was air balloon, and I totally missed it. Because sometimes these Toga Tomorrow's are air balloon. And then Sash could roll out on a different mod. But is this a Snooze Snarl? A G-Max one? Now that I'm thinking about it, it could be. But I think he's just trying to get control with paralyzes and uh, screens and all that. To be honest. To be honest. But I'm wondering, someone let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I just popped into my head. So say he goes for a Reflect and he's Light Clay and I knock off the Light Clay, then what happens? Is it still 8 turns or does it drop? Oh, he drops down to Dale, dude. What a smart cookie. What a smart little cookie. Fake out comes out. We're gonna do a little bit of damage, just chip him up. He's gonna swagger. Oh, you little bit. Oh, yo, you you rolling out with the Swagger Mudsdale squad. Now we coming in hot. Now we coming in hot. Now you wanna play with us. Now mess around! The defense drops. Special defense falls, and I'm going to set this tailwind. I need to get the speed, and I need to. Do I U turn out? If he gets swagger, he's gonna dynamax here, obviously. Oh, this is tough. We got it. We got to pivot out. We got to pivot out on him. He's definitely swaggering. Hopefully, he misses. This is looking tough. This is looking tough, people. Come on, what you want, bro? He's gonna tumble my what's called one shot anyway. I'm trying to get this tailwind up. We should be able to outspeed. But I think he's going to go for the Dynamax, and is he going to Dynamax? Yeah. He's going to go for the Dynamax, try to get that Swagger off, and ooh, that's rough. That is rough. He has no screens up, but good thing he missed turn one. Good thing he missed turn one. 
What you want, fool, dude? I like I'm a big fan of these own tempo Mudsdale teams. These are one of my favorites, and they're so hard to play up against once they get set up and all that. Like if he gets screens and all that, we're oh, we're sitting rough. We are sitting rough. Not liking it. I'm not liking it. But Swag comes out, miss. Oh wait, oh baby, this dude's mad. This dude, real mad. We gonna get this tailwind. We're pivoting out here. Get out of my face. You turn. Do a little bit of damage. Oh, we coming for you, Mudsdale. We coming for you, boy. What are you going for? Uh, do I go for a toe kiss? He's gotta be going after my baby eye, right? I want to get my Rillaboom up in here. I gotta say, he's dropping a rock on my baby eye, or he was going for a ground move. I'm gonna play it safe and go after, uh, go right here. Cause he could be going for a ground move. Let's see it. Show me, show me Max Quake. Show me Max Quake. Went in my Incineroar. Oh, he's going for a rock ball. He's going for a rock ball. Bad call by me. Is he going in baby eye? Okay, Tokus. So that actually worked out a little bit better for us. Just a tad bit better, considering uh, we what's it called? We still have our roll boom, cause you were going in for my roll boom slot. Right, we got speed totally. We got speed 100%. And I go for a super luck, dazzling gleam here. Or I could go for a follow me, and just keep the own tempo off of him. I could. But I'd rather do damage to this thing. I'd rather do some big old damage. So we're gonna go for that dazzling gleam. Maybe take out the Grimstone on here. We'll see, we'll see. Let's see what you want. Because I know we'll be chilling once I get my roll boom out here. I can potentially just Dynamax him and roll out. But it's going to be tough considering it might be like a 2v1, 2v1 and him just keep going. Just set up that light screen. He does not even go for the own tempo shots. Doesn't even go for that. Close combat comes through. Yoink! Do some nice little damage. We're going to drop our stats again. I knew Braviary is like already dead kind of. But I wonder who he's going to go after. That's the game. You show me that crit on that Grimmy. Oh, so close. Was that a crit on the Grimmy? It was a crit. Okay, beautiful. Just so close to killing him. Buffett should actually be able to take him out. And Mudsdale should be going out next turn. Still Spike's coming in here. Taking out Togi Togi. That's totally fine. Lose some defense stats. I know I outspeed the Mudsdale, so... Grimstar should go down here. Braviary should be able to take out Mudsdale next turn. I Dynamax roll boom and I roll out from there. Oof. Yo, we might be getting lucky this game one. With the double own tempo miss. Or the double swagger miss. That's huge for us. Buffett should take out. Let's get it. Okay, so Braviary. That's an easy KO for Braviary right here. On the Mudsdale. Or if he wants to max art. Oh, I still have Incineroar, dude. That's lovely. That is lovely. I'm getting Rollboom out here. I totally forgot I still have Incineroar. I thought... I totally forgot that. But that, that is just so much better. So now that I'm thinking about it, we didn't really get too, too lucky. Well, we still got lucky, but still. All around. Better for us. Uh, definitely take out... This, this should take him out, right? Close combat. Hmm. Definitely Dynamax here. And... Do we go for Quake? I could quake this thing. Was it air balloon? I don't think it was, but. I can boost my stats here. I'm gonna boost my stats here. Let's get it. So this Braviary is faster than my Rillaboom. But I'm definitely boosting my stats, doing some big old damage to this Togi Togi. Let's see what this Togi does. I mean, oh, if it does go for a fake out, I still think we're fine. I still think we're fine if it goes for a fake out on my Braviary and then he rocks falls my Braviary. I still think we're chilling. We got our Life Orb Roll Boom here and then we got Incineroar coming in the back end. Still has Intimidate ready to go. We got Fake Out ready to go. We're going to be rolling out strong here. Then we got this one pretty settled. And I'm thinking this thing might go for a Max Guard. Because we probably should outspeed with the Tailwind. No, Fake Out comes out. But he goes on the Really. Why would you go on the Really? You had to know when I was Dynamaxing that. But this thing eats up fairly well. Maybe I should have just dumped on it. I get ate up a lot more that one. The Max Knuckle comes through. Yeet! Can we do some big old damage to this thing? Take it out. Sash. It's Sash, but the buff is going to take it out. That's totally fine by me. Sturdy comes through with Togan. Oh, it has Sturdy. It has Sturdy. What a wonderful little mount. And we get our attack boost. But still, it's got to be dropping a rock on me, right? Oh, it goes for a Steel Spike. Kill on my Braviary, please. No, on my Rillaboom. Rillaboom eats that up just fine. That's why. That's why he... He ate that uh, close combat up a lot better than I thought. He got the defensive boost from the Steel Spike. But yeah, we're chilling here. We're chilling here. Um, I think I saw Speed Advantage if Tailwind is still in effect, which Tailwind actually might not be in effect anymore. But I know we outspeed the Mudsdale all day. Mudsdale definitely gone. We still have Tailwind? If we still have Tailwind, we are absolutely chilling here. We do. Okay. Look at his stats, dude, from the close combats. That's hilarious. But, hmm. Definitely just a uh, close combat over on this thing. Take that thing out. Clean it up. And then, why wouldn't I just... Yeah, I'm just gonna go for a Brave Bird. I don't lower my stats anymore, but even though they're doo-doo stats. Oh, this thing can't get hit by, uh... Buffets. I totally forgot. 
totally forgot. And then I think I just go into an overgrowth, actually, to boost, get some more HP back for the squad, because both these guys will be dead, so they won't even get the HP back. Vapor comes through. Yay! We do that, and it comes down. It comes down to, what is it, 3v1? Oh my god, we chilling here. We are chilling in battle number one, rocking out. We took out the Grimstarl, we took out Togo tomorrow now, and now we take out Mudsail. It comes down to his final mind, yo. We chilling, we chilling. I actually would have wondered how the match would have went if he would have got off the, at least one swagger. At least one of those swaggers. I'm thinking it would have been a lot closer, because he probably would have popped some screens and stuff. But I think it still would have been a close battle. Might have tilted his way, but so we're going to pick up the win here. Because, you know, your boy, the boy's the best. He's the best. <laughs> We take the buffets, but I use max overgrowth. We get some HP back as well. Take a nice little drink of my little bit of pink grapefruit. Dude, this is delicious, dude. I love it. I love the pink grapefruit flavor. And he's going to send out Fire Thorn as his final mind. Yo, we can say bye bye. We got close combat rocking out here. He's just going to cancel. I'm just going to drop another big old max up because we are plus one. And we coming in hot. He does not cancel. This dude really protects. This dude really thinks he's going to win this game. Yo, this dude. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Ferrothorn's one of like the slowest mods. <laughs> and he's going to protect. Thinking that's going to help him out. Like, what's your plan here? Stall time? You just want to stall time? <laughs> dude, you lost. Just accept it. Just accept it, little boy. Accept your fate. I love how this is shiny, real boom. It just looks cool with like the lime green. I think it looks dope. This dude really, even really trying to do that to us. He really thinks he's gonna win. One of these shots are just gonna take him out. We're plus two now. His leftovers and the grand terrain actually helps him out a lot. Imagine if he was lead seated, just three HPs just come in. Oh! That could be deadly. That could be deadly. So this thing's done for. Close combat. Yo. Guess what? Train punch. Yo. We coming in. We coming in hot, baby. Yeah, the close combat. I think close combat's taking out plus two. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Match number one in the bag. Iron Barbs pop out, but eh, you lost. We won. We got the win. We are 1-0. We're going to hop into battle number two and try to go 2-0 with this Rillaboom squad. Ever since I used that Rain Stone Journer team, I'm starting to see Stone Journers pop up all over the rank ladder. So here we go. Going up against another one with Gyarados, Charizard, Drampa, Extral, and Incineroar. That power spot, we got to watch out for that. We definitely got to watch out for that. It's probably Sash as well. I think I go Willaboom turn one. I mean, is he, do we think he's going to go Charizard? Or he might go Incineroar. That's tough. So I'm. do I go Incineroar? Do I go Incineroar? Ooh. Ooh. That could be good. I think I'm going to go Braviary just, just to get that tailwind up. I could go Milotic in case he goes in center. Oh, yeah, yo, let's do that. Bring the roll boom in the back end. And then either ooh, Togekiss or Exodrill. Or I could go my own in center. I'm thinking Togekiss or Exodrill. Who would be better? I mean, Exodrill looks like... Oh, my God, yeah. Exodrill rocks out so strong here. He has the Rock Fall for the Gyarados to Charizard. He has the Max Quake for the Stone Journer, the Exodrill, and the Incineroar. And then Drampa's just Drampa. We'll just let Drampa go. But I can, I can cover Drampa from... Well, let's rock out in this second battle. Come on, man. What's that Stone Journal one? That's tough. That is tough, dude. Stone Journal is just going to be able to run things. I think he's going to lead Stone Journal and possibly Charizard and go Power Spot into uh, big old Charizard. And then uh, Milotic can definitely uh, post a big threat there. And if he goes in Center War, you give me that competitive. We'll go plus two. It's like a free weakness policy for us. It's like a free weakness policy for Milotic. And then I could potentially just Dynamax and roll from there. Let's see how we work out. But let's get it. Battle number two. We're going up against Max over here. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Dude, my trainer card's still rocking out. I can't believe, like, I have the best trainer card in this game. It is just phenomenal. <laughs> Who's he going to lead? Let's see. It's got to be Stone Journal, right? So you Stone Journal Charizard. Like I said. Like I said, little Stone Journal Charizard action. Um, Stone Journal's probably just going to drop a uh, Rock Slide. And he's probably going to take out my Breviary, not even going to lie. But I'm going to try to get this Tailwind up here. And then I'm gonna just drop a big old money water. You wanna mess with me, little boy? You wanna mess with me? That's double super effective. And if I can get this tailwind off, ooh, we're sitting pretty. We're sitting pretty. Then I have Dynamax options with that Exigil or the Rillaboom. They're both solid attackers, physical attackers at least, and they can wall strong. But Charizard's gonna get that Dynamax. I know Stone Journal's probably the slow. Actually, it might be a little bit faster than my mind. Definitely my Braviary is a, a bit faster. And I wonder what the Charizard's going for. Probably a, uh, a G-Max Wildfire into my Braviary. Get that rolling. There's just a pester damage all around. But as long as my Braviary can survive it, eat up the Citrus Berry, and roll out with the Tailwind, we should be uh, looking pretty good. 
Could be looking pretty good. Let's see. Lock side. Oh, this thing outspeeds everything. Oh! Oh! That one hurts. That's that's nuts. I didn't think Stone Journal was that fast. Jeez, man. Think he's speedy. Think he's real speedy. Max Overgrowth comes out here. Okay, that's fine. I don't think she's chilling. Maybe he can eat it up. Let's see. No, it does not eat it up. This thing just dumps on with the power spot. Power spot's just too good. Power spot is too good. I think I might have to bring out Exodil here. Dynamax Exodil? I could. I could. Because, uh, problems not going to do too, too much up against this Charizard. So I might as well just let Dynamax, uh... And it is Life Orb, so we know that. It's not Charlie Berry. We might as well not Dynamax that Rillaboom. We'll save Rillaboom for the back end. That's rough. We got Yeah, we got Dynamax Exodil. That's our, that's our plan, baby. This Charizard doesn't want it. Dude, Charizard are so strong. Uh, do I predict the guard? I definitely have speed advantage. Old Breaker comes through. We got Tailwind chilling up here. I mean, I think I had to play uh, play big card here. Actually, no, I'm gonna drop close combat into Stone Journey. And I'm definitely dropping a Rock Ball. I'm definitely dropping a Rock Ball. You want Charizard? Cause we are Sash, but if he goes into a Wildfire, it's tough. Maybe I should have doubled into this thing. But I'm kind of feeling maybe a Max Guard. I'm feeling maybe a max guard, so instead of doubling up and letting the Stone Journey get a free turn, this is like, oh, I can't. I can't. I can't just double up into this for the potential max guard, because that's what he's thinking about. That is totally what he's thinking about. Let's see if he does it. Let's see if he does it. If not, I'm hoping this uh, this Rock Ball can take it out one shot. I'm hoping. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Because it's not stabbed, but he doesn't have a Charity Berry on. He's, he's rocking life for it. And he definitely has no HP or defensive boost in his DBs, right? Definitely special attack speed with modest nature. Let's see what happens here. Guard comes out. Okay. Like I said, that's totally fine. That's why I doubled into one side. Uh, rock ball gets blocked. And then we're going to still be able to drop a close combat here. Maybe take this thing out unless it's Sash. Let's see. No, this thing's big, bulky, defensive. Big, bulky, defensive, man. Big, bulky. Big, big, bulky, defensive, man. Yeah, yeah. Rock side comes out. Yay. Baby Ari dead. Okay. The Baby Ari is dead here. Oh, it gets a crit on him. Hey! I think it was dead anyway, but still. Okay, so we outspeed this thing. And we got Grassy Terrain helping us out a little bit. Uh, Real Boom should be able to one-tap up on the the Stone Journey, no problem. The Stone Journey's dead. We should be able to outspeed that. And I'm hoping a Rock Fall comes out here and kills this charge. If that's, if, that's the, if that's what's going on, we are sitting very, very well here. This drum beating obviously takes this thing out. 100%. And then Rockfall comes in clutch and should be able to take out the Charizard. If not, we sit in tough. He's going to withdraw the Charizard. Let's get it. We'll take that all day. So free Stone Journey kill here. He's going to save Charizard for later. He'll probably when the Tailwind goes out here. He's going to send out Incineroar, who still doesn't take a Rock too too well. I think he just wants this Intimidate, which is a little bit better. Better for himself here. Okay, so that Intimidate is going to be a little bit tougher for us. Rockfall comes out here. We're going to set this Sandstorm. I'm gonna do some nice old damage to this thing. Yeet. Not bad. We still have to speed that thing next turn so I can potentially take it out. Yes, fake guy's gonna fake out my real boom next turn. That's an obvious call. And this thing, what is that? A check button? Ho oh, ho 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 ho! This guy's making some good plays. He's making some good plays, like really good plays. He's gonna swap back into his Charizard and swap back into his uh Incineroar. You little biscuit! You little biscuit! So he's gonna have double drop down. Trump Beanie comes out here. I don't know if this is going to KO now, now, now that we're minus one. Bat, 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 bat. Take him out, please. Yes, sir. Okay, Stone Journey gone. Power Spot is out of here. He might just protect the Charizard now. Or he's just going to get the Incineroar back out here, obviously. <laughs> ah! Leave me alone! Just leave me alone! <laughs> Definitely protecting that Charizard. He's going to fake out my Rillaboom. Do we think he protects the Charizard? Oh, this is tough. This dude's making some good calls, guys. That eject button was huge. He gets Incineroar back out here, and now we're just like just like that, we're minus two. Just like that, out of nowhere, we are minus two. That is insane. Uh, Heat Wave does mean damage to us, so I definitely have to... Definitely go... Uh, I mean, if he protects, that's fine. I'm going to go high horsepower this way. And I definitely got to drop a rock here. This fire is just big old damage for us. He's got to be protecting and faking out. I think he fakes out my real boom and he protects. Because if he doesn't protect, that Charizard is definitely dead, I think. Actually, I don't know. We're minus two. I keep forgetting. Oh, my lord. Like, this is intense. This is intense. Protect comes out from the Charizard, like I said. Yeah. And the fake out should roll out as well. Let's see. Fake out. 
Yep. E ah, leave me alone! Bro, this plays. Smart little cookie here. Smart little cookie here. Rockfall comes out. Yoink! Well, drop down. Boop! Do a decent amount of damage for protect. And I'm hoping extra drill can outspeed, but. Mm, mm, I don't know. I think Tailwind ends here. I think Tailwind ends here. Buffet comes out. The Buffets come out. Yeah! And our Dynamax is over. Jeez, we probably would have had that one if you didn't make that play. That double intimidate was huge. Oh my lord, this dude. This dude, I gotta give this guy credit here. What the? Like, some plays, man. The plays. No one has to eject button and roll out after that. Jeez, man. Alright, horsepower. Definitely gotta pop out here. And rock slizzle. And rock slizzle coming down. This is my last two. I can't swap. I can't get rid of stats anyway. Any way I want. And of course, we are both physical attackers. <laughs> and he has intimidate Rogan. Plays, the plays. Again, just charts our teams are tough to play up against. Like, I just feel like always. But definitely Incineroar was clutch, man. <gasps> Rillaboom avoids. Extra drill, eat. Extra drill, sash. Extra drill is sash. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Extra drill is sash. And he missed a really. And he missed a really. Rockslide comes out. <gasps> trade for trade there. Who dodged it? Not the Charizard. Hopefully not the Charizard. Take out the Charizard. Charizard gone. We need this high horsepower coming in hot. Rillaboom. I need this to come in hot. I wish Rod comes in. Takes him out. Take him out. Take him out. Come on, your life lifeboat. Oh my lord. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Comes down to a 2v1 situation. Who's his bottom line? Did Gene just clutch this one somehow? With the focus sash? I'm not going to say we got lucky because he missed the heat wave. Well, we missed a rock slide too. So, a little trade for trade there. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Extra drill v extra. Is this this is mold breaker? So who is going to be faster? That's a real question. We gotta go for a drum beating here. This stab, or we could just go for a drain punch. He's gotta be dropping rock slide, right? What do I gotta go for here? Stab or super uh, super effect is probably better. Um, I could get some HP back here. Sorry, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. We don't have to protect. I can't. He has EQ probably. Uh, best bet would probably be going into an Iron Head. Trying to make this thing flinch. Trying to make it flinch. He goes for Rock Slide. Miss! Little Boom avoids it. No! X control! X control E. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, it's coming down. It's coming down, baby. Little Boom dodges. Oh, this one's coming down the wire. Drain Punch pops out here. We're minus two, though. Yeet! Decent damage. Yo, next one will kill. Next one will kill. Even though he's going to get a little bit of HP back here, if I go for a high horsepower here, high horsepower should be able to kill. My left foot takes my takes damage back. Rillaboom gets buffed it. Oof, yo, this is coming down. He's going to Iron Head and probably get the flinch. I'm going to be like, no. <laughs> it's high, high, high horsepower. Yeah, it's 25 or 20 more base power. We should be able to KO if we land this. Don't you kill me. He's going to go Iron Head. I knew it. Don't flinch me. Don't you flinch me. Come on, really? <gasps> no. This game! Dude, this match was just all intense. I need him to miss. That's my only way. I need him to miss. No, are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my god, dude, this game was all over the place. M miss, like, heat wave misses, rock slide misses, flinches, all that crazy stuff. But GG to this guy. Third and final battle coming at you guys. That last battle was intense. Bunch of missed attacks, heat waves were missing, rock slides, flinches were going off, but we ended up losing that one. We are now one and one. Here we go, going up against a Basharp team right here, Defiant Basharp. So no Incineroar lead, no Incineroar lead. Um, I think safe call, would, mm, yeah. We're gonna go Milotic, so maybe try to trigger competitive nature and Braviary. Bring Really Poo in the back. Come on, Really Boom. Get Really Boom in the back. And then uh, final spot, we got probably Tokus. Probably Togi Wogi. Silkis so just, just does work. Has all those coverage moves. Has scope lines for crits. Decent speed. Just I think Tokus is one of the best Pokemon like, in this game. It's so good it can be used on any team. Same thing with like extra drills like that too. Titar's up there. Mimikyu. Like, oh my god. Dragapult, obviously. Like, they're like top tier Pokemon. It's so good. So good. I think Conqueror is not too far behind. I feel like Conqueror just works so well in competitive. Uh, yeah, well, competitive rank battles. But, come on, dude, pick a team. He don't want the smoke. He doesn't want the smoke. But we're leading Bravey, Ari, and Milotic. Try to get that tailwind up. Get rolling from there. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm ready for this one. I'm ready for this one. Come on, Jeans needs that, uh, 
needs to make up for that flinch loss. Bruh. Bruh. I saw it coming through. I saw it coming. Once he hit Iron Head, I was just like, I had that gut feeling. I was like, yeah, he's getting that flinch. I knew it was over from there. I knew it was over. But that one could have went like totally either way. Like everything was missing left and right. It was just getting crazy. Getting crazy. But he goes Gengar Bisharp. Just in case we go Incineroar, which we do not. That is the exact reason we do not go Incineroar. And we double up on here. We go over here. So definitely a Tailwind to get us rolling off here. And then potentially a Muddy Water. Yeah, Muddy Water. Or I can go for the defensive boost. The Quill. We'll do that. Don't like Tailwind. Especially the Quill this turn. But I think he's going to Dynamax potentially to Gengar. What if a Sharp? No, no way he's going to uh, Dynamax with Sharp. He's definitely going to roll out with like a... Just a nice big stab move onto one of us. And he's gonna, I think he's going to Dynamax to Gengar. If not, I'm cool with it. He does not. Let's get it. And Braviar outspeeds regardless. Gets the Tailwind up first turn. I'm going to get this nice free Muddy Water off. Let's get it. I should have probably coiled. I'll probably coil next turn. Start trying to boost attack stats. Well, not attack stats. Just my stats in general. Let's get an Accuracy Drop. Accuracy Drop. Cursed Body comes out. Ooh, Muddy Water is disabled. That's rough news. Third Chop comes out here. Yoink. And he's going to do some damage. This thing is life form. It's good to know. Trick room. Oh, ho, ho! Leave me alone! <laughs> this thing rolled a trick room on me! Leave me alone! <laughs> it's tough news. That is really rough news. Definitely gonna go for this. Then I think I'm gonna drop a close combat and try to take out this Basharpy poo. Because if I get this close combat off on this Basharp, it's definitely dead. It's definitely dead. Uh, are we gonna see a Dynamax here? So he's got speed advantage all day here. All day. Yeah, I get like Gengars threw me off a lot. Because they can do so much. Like, I don't know if they're trick room ones. I don't know if they're just hypnosis, put people to sleep. If they're now now we can throw G Max Gengar in the mix. We don't know if they're that ones. Just like bruh. It's like get out of my face, Gengar. Even though Gengar's an absolute beast. One of the coolest Pokemon ever. 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 You can put him up there in coolest Pokemon ever. Grand Ninja's like that too. Everyone loves Grand Ninja. Oh, he's gonna go for another throat chop. Gonna be able to eat that one up just fine. And hopefully he goes after my Brave R here. Sludge Wave comes through. Dodge it, Milotic. Doesn't affect the sharp. Milotic does avoid it. Let's go. Recovery's gonna pop out here. Recover, whatever you want to call it. And we should be able to take out the sharp with this close combat. He does get a poison off on me. Does get a nice little poison. Recover comes out. Yay! Let's get it. Let's go. We back. We back in this match. And we got leftovers, right? And we popping off with leftovers. Close combat. Bye bye, Basharp. See you later, little punk. I think it hits like a truck. That's our life orb user as well. As well. And of course, he got the poison on me, man. He got the poison on me. But Bravey already definitely dead next next round. I think he's going to pick up a double kill here. And I'm just trying to waste out this trick room. Trying to waste it out. I might protect my Bravey already here. To be honest. Poison. Bruh. Because I'm just trying to waste turns at this point. So he doesn't. So the trick room can end. Tinter's Barry does trigger, which is wonderful. Give me that HP, baby. Give it here. Give me here, man. Hmm. Hmm. Who was he sending out? I think the next mod he does send out is going to be Dynamax Mon. Rotom. Ooh, we could Dynamax this Rotom Mosh. Everyone knows that thing's made it tough. And Electric's just going to do work on it. Do not have Protect. I do have Recover. I think I'm going to go here. Into a Protect. Into a Protect. I, like, like I said, I'm just trying to waste turns. He has a speed advantage. He's probably going to pick up the double kill, so I might as well just start trying to waste turns out here. Because what does he have? Two more turns left in Trick Room? Or three? Oh, it does not Dynamax, though. That's so good for us. That is so good for us. Show me the T-Bolts coming across here. Nah, he gets up. He hits a Milotic up on that. Milotic, eat. Milotic, gone. And we're going to be able to eat up this shot from this, uh, this Gar. From the Gar. I think it's safe to get Rillaboom out here. I really do think it's safe to get Rillaboom out here. Where do I go Togekiss? Togekiss could be solid, but then the Sludge Wave does mean work on its stab. So definitely, we gotta get this Real Boom out here. Even though Poison's gonna do mad damage on him too. But I, I just feel like I Dynamax here, and I go after this, uh... This Rotom. I think that's like a last little hope here. Go here. And then how many turns left in Trick Room? Like, I wish I had a Protect. Let's see. Two turns left in Trick Room. That's rough news. That's rough news. I gotta go for a Brave Bird. And try to get this Gengar out of the way. And I gotta try to get the Gengar out of the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Womp -womp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, what you want, fool? Got itch on my ear. There he comes, big old Rillaboom. Come on, I want this win. I want this win. Rillaboom's fun to play, play with. Knockoff definitely works well. 
You know, I didn't get to show it off in these videos. But still, knockoff on like a desktop and all that works very, very well. And I, I, I just can't wait for there to be more, like, better knockoff users so Trick Room can start to die out, or at least Dust Cops can start to die down a little bit. Rotom Protect, Smart Little Protect coming out from him. And so that's why he's definitely gonna come in here, but he's gonna miss my Rillaboom. Now he just protects and eats it. Miss my Rillaboom, leave me alone! Rillaboom eats up just fine, though. Eats up just fine. And we can eat up another Sludge Wave, unless he doubles up into us. Here comes an Overgrowth, how much damage are we gonna do here? But well, we're gonna start to get some HP back, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. Oh my lord, not bad damage. Um, the tough part is that this, uh, what's it? Ooh, we get a crit. The really, the toughest part right now is that this Gengar is super effective to both of us. Both my Togekiss and this, uh, and this, what's it called? And this Rollboom. And I think another Sludge Wave is coming out no matter what. I don't think he cares if he does damage to his room at this point. My Tailwind does Peter out, and we go into Togi Wogi. Hmm. Like, drop a follow me? Like, what do I think he's really going for? Sludge Wave just does absolute work. Trick Roomed up. Yeah, definitely take that out. Actually, no. I, th I say we go into a Darkness, right? Yeah, Darkness take out the Gengar. And then we just Gleam up for double damage. Actually, the Darkness should 100% take that out. Nah, I'm still gonna go for a Gleam. I'm still going for a Gleam. We're sitting in a tough spot here. Real, real, real tough spot. Let's see. Oh, we go first. We're the slowest. Yes! Let's go! Trick Room going. That is huge. That is huge. We are the slowest. Gengar dead. Or no, our Tailwind petered out. So we are the slowest now. That is actually huge for us. That is huge for us. That is actually very, very big for us. So no Sludge Wave coming in here. T-Bolt's probably gonna fly through. We should be able to eat this up just fine. And then take out this, uh, this Rotom. And then it comes down to a 2v1? 2v1, he still has a Dynamax, though. He still has a Dynamax. Come on, baby! Come on! What you want, fool? What you want? Uh, Trick Room, I think, has one more turn. Or Trick Room might have just ended. Yeah, Trick Room just ended. This could benefit us, or it could not. Depends if he has a slow Pokemon. That would like for A Togekiss. Okay. Togekiss, Togekiss. He's gonna Dynamax his Togekiss, obviously. Oh. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> My heart, man. <laughs> we got lower special defense. And I guess an air slash. We gotta go into a stab move. I guess an air slash. Oh my god, we lost this one, I think. No, leave me alone. Dynamax comes out here. He's probably gonna airstream boost his speed stats. Rillaboom, I'm hoping Rillaboom can go first, which I don't think he is going to. Because Rillaboom is slower than my toke kiss. But if I can get the special attack drop, it's gonna be huge. But if he gets the speed, oh man. Oh man, GG. GG, man. You coming in hot. Let's see, airstream comes through. Yeah. And we can say bye bye, Togi. Yeah, this one's over. Wrap it up. Wrap it up for sure, for sure. My Dynamax turns are over. He has his speed advantage. We, all of our moves are absolute trash up against a Togi Kiss. That's it. Bill! Bill me that damage, baby! <laughs> Yo, GG, this guy. One and two with this team. Not, not too bad. Could have been better, you know. At least we got a win out. At least we got a win. We got to show off this team pretty well. And all the ones that we lost weren't like complete domination. They actually came down to the wire like this one's just a 1v1 situation. But I know I'm going to lose because one airstream is probably going to take me out. So, bro, bro, what you mean? And it can't miss. It can't miss. Considering he is Dynamax. But I'm going to save my little monkey friend. I'm going to save my monkey friend from misery and dying out. So, there we go. One and two with this team. GG to this guy. We canceled the battle. Not a bad team right here. We did pretty well with it. We went one and two. All the matches were pretty close. Just a few things I would tweak on this team. Like this Rillaboom, I would give him Max Guard or at least a move to give him Max Guard when he Dynamaxes. I would probably change Incineroar's U-Turn to a Parting Shot. That works a lot better. And I think I would change the Tailwind Setter to maybe Wimscott. But other than that, this team was actually pretty strong and it worked pretty well on the Rank Ladder. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. So you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.